Well, I'm going to have a bit of fun today. I've got some cardboard. I've got some paint on some cardboard. And I just thought, well, I've just finished the lesson. I can see my fingers are all messy. And um, I thought, let's have a bit of fun. So I picked up a scrap bit of cardboard. It's roughly 10 by 8. Because I cut it that side. There you are. It's roughly 10 by 8. Um, it's unprimed. There's absolutely nothing on that at all. It, it could be a back of a cereal packet. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget to click subscribe. It's as simple as that. And I thought to myself, let's just have a bit of fun today in the studio. And let's show you that you can paint on anything you want with anything you want. I've just, so I'm going to use maybe three brushes. And I've got some ultramarine blue, some yellow, some white, some black, and some burnt umber. That's it. That's all I'm going to use. So, I'm not even going to waste time. I'm not going to use any moisture. I'm not going to use any water. I'm not going to use any medium mix, which can be found on the website at www.clive5art.co.uk. Along with the retarders and flow improvers and all that other stuff. I'm just going to go straight in with some white. I'm going to pick up some ultramarine blue. I'm going to tap that straight in like this. And I'm just going to blend it all in like that. Now, when you're doing something like this, what you need to do is have a bit of thought about it. I've actually um, been thinking about this one for quite a while. And I thought, why not see if we can't just knock it out, knock it out as quickly as we can. I'm just going to get some white into there. Now, you can paint this on a larger scale if you want to um, this is just a quick little demo painting and something you can you can do on craft fairs and things like that why not just give it a try let's get a little bit more i want to get a little bit of darker into that top of the sky there like that there you go just blending that down blending all that together bringing that down like this there we are. Now what I'm going to do is get a, a softer brush. This is one of the blending brushes that I sell on the website www.clay5art.co.uk and I'm roughly, lightly, very lightly, very lightly touching the canvas and because it's on cardboard it's going to dry very, very quickly and it's going to allow me to just blend this paint just a little bit like this. And this is blending and if you're very quick as it's drying you can just smooth out those brush lines. If you want to get rid of those brush lines, that's cool. There we go. So we've got a bit of a sky going in there. It's a bit of a twilight sky. There we are. This is The sun is going down and the night is starting to draw in a bit. It is certainly trying to draw in a bit. So let's get some more ultramarine blue. A little bit of black. Because we want that night sky type of effect. There we go. Just getting that darkness coming in it's just creeping in there blending that out again like that it's just going to turn a little bit of white washing the brush very quickly a little bit of white because we've got a bit of black on our brush we didn't want that let's get that blue back in there there we go a little bit of white put that effect in like that. so let's go back into some ultramarine blue let's just draw a line very quickly across like that Try and keep it straight. Deep breath. Deep breath. There we go. Bring your white in. Bring some more white in there like that. Let's just try and do that line again. I don't know where that yellow comes from. I must have touched the yellow with my brush. It doesn't matter. Okay, so we're going to put some yellow in. Let's put some yellow in then. Let's put a little bit of yellow and brown just in there. It wasn't planned, but that's what we're going to do now. We'll have to put some beach, some sort of a beach in there now. 
Yes, as you guessed it, that could be a sea as well. It could be a bit of sand or something going on in there like that. There we are, let's wash our brush out very, 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 very quickly. I'm just using a small short flat. This is a number 10 short flat. As you can see, we've got a bit of a a thing going on there now. Let's get some burnt umber, a little bit of black, burnt umber, a little bit of black like that. And let's just put some rocks and things coming in like that. Could be some cliffs and just going into the into the background there. Getting that a little bit more pronounced. Getting a bit of black in. Merging this all together, get some shadow in there. Let's get a little bit of blue in there as well. Just to just give it a little bit of a, a change in colour. Let's have a look. Let's just get a touch of white. Let's just get some highlights on these rocks and things. There we are. We get some white. Let's pull down like that on some white. Or maybe maybe we got a maybe we got a waterfall coming down over some rocks like that maybe maybe we can put another little rock maybe the rivers come around that rock and just going down into that one as well a little waterfall coming off the top of those rocks there like that let's get some more white and blue together bit more white and blue there we are let's get some white and blue put some shadows into this water like that Could have another waterfall come in. Could have another waterfall coming off the of top of there. Like that. Put some foam. Bit of water. Bit of white. Put some foam in there. Let's get some. waves and maybe some foam to patterns just coming in just like that there like that wow how fun is this how fun is this with one brush how fun is this with one brush let's get some blue and some yellow together we're going to make a green blue and yellow blue and yellow can you see can you see what i'm doing blue and yellow there like that a little bit of white a little bit of light Let's just change its value, let's just get that nice and green and let's get a little bit of black into it. Mars black has got blue in it. I'm just trying to find the colour. I don't want anything too dark. What I'm going to do now is just use the same brush taking off the excess paint. I'm going to fill a few trees. Let's get a little bit of darker colour, a touch of black. Just on the one side. Let's get some tiny little trees down there. There we are, there's the trees. Maybe a couple of bushes just on the on the rocks. There we are. <laughs> okay let's get into some black and some burnt umber again and let's put on a mighty big rock just sitting there like that big almighty rock 
just sit in there like this bringing that down a couple of little rocks on the on the beach maybe get some black get some shadow in nice and loose you can do this I know you can I know you can do this give it a go give it a go let's have another little bit rock type shape come in there a little bit of light on the one side because we got a little bit of we made it may I tell you what we could do I tell you what we could do I tell you what we could do yes we could have a bit of moonlight shining couldn't we we could make a little moonlight in a minute let's just get a little bit of light on a couple of parts of these rocks let's just get that really black in there like this there we are okay so we got a wonderful little seascape coming on um what we need to do now is i wash my brush i need to get some white paint white paint and i just want to just bring in a couple of lines like this Shh. like as if the the sea is just coming in and breaking in and even some those little doers there we go a couple of little breakers up in there and you've got that all that wonderful wonderful waterfalls going on there as well let's get some more yellow a little bit of black yellow a little bit of black let's put in a a little bush or a tree or maybe a little baby tree coming in he's not that old actually and he's been looking out at this scene and listening to the waves and he been battered and blue bruised and there we are a couple of little bushes here and there Shh. Shh. just a little bush get a bit of white on the tip of my brush maybe sparkle up the one edge don't have to be a master artist to paint something like this you could just sit down and just have fun you don't have to be a master artist just let your imagination run wild with you just let your imagination run wild with you get some white paint on a brush and then in the center there and just make this little moon shape there he is sparkling along let's get a bit more white in there there you go sparkling along bit of light Just catching along those rocks there. <laughs> Let's change into um, a very small uh, detailing brush now. I just put a little bit of water on there. Now I am going to use my little stick because what I want to do now is just put a few birds or seagulls just flying through the air like that. There you go. And there's one very, very quick easy lesson for you to do on a bit of cardboard with some spare paint give it a try i hope you enjoy that and um please click the subscription button down below over there is another video you might be interested in and there's a couple of other links down there just go there and click then one of us is going to take you to www.clive5art.co.uk so i'm going to go in and have my supper so i'll see you next time bye